Hi guys, it's been a long time since I've did a uh, um collection. So uh, this is my movie collection update. I was gonna use downstairs in my um living room, but my brother's taking it right now, so he has to move, kick me out, and move me. So yeah, I just I there's some um few DVDs that are new and some VHSs are new, so I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna start off with the VHSs. This is a movie update. First one, we've got the original Lorax, which I remember this as a kid from long time ago. I remember watching this as a kid. It has been years since I've seen it. And I remember this this Dr. Seuss's um I know there's a remake of the Lorax, you know the 2012 remake, but I, it's back it's in my parents' room, so I don't feel like I gotta go up and get it. It'll be a waste of time. This one I got like a couple months ago. Screen free. I still haven't watched the rest of it, but look, I'll show you how far I got. Look, I'm not even close to finishing it, so I am gonna have to watch the rest of it when I have a chance. So, mm hmm. And yeah, this is another one, one of the um, AGM Studios, and I got this for like $4.99 or close to $5, and it's Carrie. I heard they're going to remake Carrie, I heard the remake of Carrie or something, or they released it on 3D, I think. Well, I think it's going to be okay, but this is better because Stephen King's a genius of making stories and other films like that. I'm sorry if my camera's shaking. I'm just going to adjust that a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. Next one, it's one of the selections by 20th Century Fox. It's Simply Irresistible. Irresistible or something. Well, this movie has Sarah Michelle Gillar. I haven't watched it yet, or Carrie. And I haven't watched the original Lorax either, but I'm going to have to probably watch this because. Yeah, Sarah Michelle Gellar was awesome when she did this. And I haven't seen her movie for like a long time. Except for Scooby-Doo because I've seen the two Scooby-Doo movies with her. This is one of my favorite. This is the Alien Trilogy. Has all three movies. Alien I liked. Aliens was pretty good. And the third one, I only watched half of it, but it looks pretty good so far. I'm gonna, not going to take the both of them out. Here's Alien. Here's Aliens. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. That one was Aliens Free and that one was Aliens. This is the Alien. Sorry I got mixed up. But if you don't have this collection, go buy them right now. Yeah, because it's a, like a really big box. Last VHS. I have it finally, and I really wanted to get it, and it's Spirit, Stand of Cinema. I only watched half of it, but it looked pretty good so far. Yeah, it's basically about horses, which I really like them a lot. The back cover was, like, very well made. It's rated G, usually, so, mm-hmm. That's all the VHSs. Now we're going to get on to the DVDs. This one I got for Christmas. And I still haven't watched because the sticker is still on there. On the top right here. And it's Passengers. Annie Halfway is in there. Which I haven't watched this yet. But it looked pretty interesting. So I may as well give it a shot. Here's this one I think I talked about it before. But I'm not sure if I'm going to watch it yet. Well, it looked pretty interesting, and the case looks really awesome. It's Anaconda Free. I have not seen it, like I said. It looked pretty interesting. It's about, basically about snakes. As you know, I love snakes. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's been bothering me for like a couple days now. I think there was something stuck in my throat. Okay. This is another movie I probably might talk about in the other one, and I did a movie on it, and I think it's pretty good. This gets more unresistible. <coughs> Apologies.
apologize for that. It's got a making of, and it's got all kinds of stuff. It's on Mon Gratchlin. I wish they would they would send a special edition. Unfortunately, there's no Blu-ray of it yet, yet, but I wish there's a Blu-ray. Maybe in a couple years, maybe in a couple more years, maybe they'll release it on Blu-ray. I really like this with... Yeah, what I don't like is right here. Yeah, I got it at um, Goodwill, and that happened. Oh, that's a close. Here's Huxley, it's Manny Batakin, and that's Vanessa Williams. I really like them both, actually. They're, like, pretty funny. So I am going to have to watch this. This one I haven't watched in a while, but I got it a couple years ago. It's got good stuff in there. It's Toy Story Free. I, have, oh, I haven't watched it in a really long time, so I'm going to have to give it another shot whenever I have a chance, because usually I'm pretty busy. I have, like, a whole bunch of collection of movies. <coughs> Sorry about that. Here's another one that I got for Christmas. It's only had the auto commentary, but it's okay. It's brave. It's okay. It's got advertisements in... Look, it's got advertisements in there. And the disc was very well done. So, if you don't have this movie, buy this movie or rent it. Watch it. I love this movie. It's so funny. Here's a DVD that I don't have, did not have on my Disney movie collection. Well, I finally do now. It's a gold edition. It's the Fox and the Hound. I love this movie ever since I was a kid. It's been years since I've seen it. I might give it another watch. I do have the second one also, but I forgot to bring it. So, but it's not going to be in there anyway. I didn't think about it. There's another movie I thought it was very hilarious to me. It's open season. I love this with Steve, with Martin Lawrence, and and yeah, Martin Lawrence did a very good job in the movie. I can't remember what of the animals he played as, but he was pretty fun. And here's another movie I mentioned when I watched it from the director Boogeyman. It's Zombie Nation. I don't know why a lot of people don't like it and they complain about it, but this rocks in my opinion. Now, sorry, that's the phone. So don't even um, complain to me about it because I don't like complainments. Next one is Hot Fuzz. This has um, Nick Frost and Simon Pegg, I heard. I haven't watched it yet, but it looked pretty interesting. It looks pretty cool and funny and interesting. I just haven't watched it yet. When I get around to watch it, then maybe I will. Almost done, people. Still have a few more DVDs. Here's another DVD that I have. It's pretty good. And it's right mentioned that in my other videos. So I switched Carnival Drift. Unbelievable. Fantastic. It's funny. This one made me cry at the end, but it was, like, very good. Too bad it's the last Ice Age movie, but what the heck. So, yeah, I'll just, I just buy it. Here's another movie I bought um, a couple days ago on Friday when I went to go to the eye doctor. And it's pretty good. It has deleted scenes and stuff. Nice Hotel Transylvania. I really I got this movie because I really like Adam Standler and Selena Gomez. I really do like Selena Gomez and Adam Standler, which I'll probably watch. Here's this um, DVD. Well, well, yeah. Complete season. It's Heartland. Fantastic and awesome. I remember watching this show a couple times. I only watched a few episodes. It's got four discs, and they made a couple mistakes, but it's okay. Look, that's what they did. They also have the making of in this. They also have the making of. And, yeah, it's a really cool cover. I may watch it. Depends. Here's another one, and it's Garfield Gets Real. I haven't watched it yet, but it looks very fantastic to watch. I'm going to have to get through this quick. Can't go over 15 minutes. Here's another one, and it's Nightfall and Devil Bat. I haven't watched these both of them yet, but it looked pretty interesting. Here's this movie. It's Legendary, Legendary WW2. I haven't watched it yet. 
And I'm surprisingly haven't watched it, so I may want to give it another look at it a watch. Here's What's Up Pussycat. I haven't heard about it, but it had, um, it's pretty good. It has pretty good stuff and characters. Okay, I only have three more. This one is one of my favorite with Bill, I mean Ben Stiller, and it's um, to this special edition. I haven't checked, I haven't watched them yet, but it's pretty good. It's Night at the Museum. I, re I love this movie since I was growing up. It's been years since I've seen it. Here's this one with Tim, Jim Carrey, and it's um, Unforgotten Unfortunate Events. I haven't watched it, but it looks awesome. So, mm hmm. Here's the last one. And then I have to end, and it's Hannah and her sisters. I only watch—I haven't watched it yet, but yeah, I'll probably get into watching it whenever I have a chance. <sighs> I'm out of time. That's it. So see you later.